Hello there. I'm here to talk to you about classroom manners. Yep, a lot of you already know it is polite manners to say please, thank you and excuse me. However, your teachers want you to know all of the expected manners for 6th grade students in the classroom. The first rule of classroom manners is to take care of all your personal needs and between classes. This means you should go to the bathroom, get drinks, and go to your locker to get everything you need in the three minutes and between bells. Always arrive to class on time and be in your seat working on bell work when the bell rings. Sometimes you might notice your teachers meeting in the hall to discuss things and between classes. Please remember to walk around your teachers, not through them. You should also remember not to stand nearby or interrupt their discussion as they may be talking about something confidential and or important. When you get seated at your desk make sure you have everything you need out on your desk. Any other items should be stored safely in the basket under your desk. Make sure you don't leave things lying in the aisle as this is unsafe. Also, make sure you don't use another desk or take up more room than you should. Always show consideration for your teacher and the other students. During class make sure you are alert and on task. Always do your best. Listen. Teachers don't appreciate having to repeat things because students weren't listening the first time. Remember that you should never shout out ideas or answers. Raise your hand and wait to be called on. Don't make noises like tapping your feet, humming, clicking your pen or tapping your pen because it is distracting to others. Not to mention seriously irritating. During discussions remember to be polite and not argue. It always okay to express your opinion but sometimes you have to agree to disagree. Always be respectful to your teacher and classmates. If your teacher gives you an assignment make sure you write it down in your assignment notebook immediately. You should always ask questions if you don't understand the directions. Make sure you complete your assignment on time, no excuses. Make sure that you always try to do the work on your own before asking the teacher for help. Teachers love to help students, but real learning occurs when students practice on their own. Don't watch the clock. You should never start packing up your materials until your teacher tells you it is time to do so. Remember the teacher dismisses you, not the bell. Basically you should always be courteous and show respect. If you remember to follow these rules of classroom manners your classes will be more productive and pleasant.